guys in this video you will learn how to use python threading event object to communicate between threads sometime you need to communicate between the threads to do that you can use a lock mutex and a boolean variable however python provides you with a better way to communicate between threads using the event class from the threading module so i am using editor pycharm and python version 3.12 is installed on my computer let's get started with our today's tutorial what is event class event class offers a simple but effective way to communicate between threads one thread signals an event while other threads wait for it i have a very simple program to explain you things in better way this is a threading module right i have imported thread class okay i have taken a task which is actually printing a statement thread is start okay after that i have created two threads different threads which is referring this task function okay along with it is passing an argument to this task this is thread id okay after that we have started both threads and we have just waited to finish both task with help of join function if you run the program so it will show you thread 1 is started thread 2 is started right these two threads are independent and we have just printed a simple statement okay inside now our agenda to understand how we can pass signals from one thread to another thread okay now i have a better version of this function if you see we are using event right so event how we can get event class we can refer here okay and we are using time as well here we can see clearly this is a same task that we were referring in a previous program we have used event here right we have passed this event as a reference okay in this task through the thread right in the thread we have passed event and this event object is created with this event class this is nothing but it's a threading event class which actually manages the flag that can be set to true with the set method and reset to false with the clear method the wait method blocks until the flag is true the flag is initially false okay so with help of wait we are now blocking the execution okay until and unless we set is to true okay so what we are doing here in both the threads we are passing this event right and this event actually it is used to pass the signal okay if you look at here we have now put our main thread on sleep for 2 seconds and then passing the signal to the event that you can resume the execution further okay because both the threads are referring the same task if you're in the program again so you will see a delay of 2 seconds and then we receive the signal right this way okay if you still are not able to understand it i have another way to make you understand i have one function with me right so what we are doing here we are trying to write a file on the same location from where we are running this program we are iterating 10 times and 10 times we are writing some content into the file in this file another task is to create another function which will count the total number of words these are two different tasks which will be performing on the same file event we have used to just check whether we have to wait or we have to resume the execution right we have taken word count we have opened the file in the read mode then we are iterating the file content from this object and we are splitting each line right after splitting we are counting the length of the words right and then we are aggregating the value in this word count variable okay and then we are printing it and what is next step next step is to create an event object from this event class and we have to create two different threads thread one and thread two here we are referring both the function right thread one we are referring right file which will be writing the content into the file and in the second thread we are referring count words okay both the thread would be starting at the same time right and they will be waited for here until they are completed after writing the content into the file we are sending the signal through this event object to this different thread okay you can now open up the file and start counting the words if you run the program you will see the difference you see we are writing the content 
once the content writing is completed then we are starting the counting of words you see there are 60 words if you open up the file if you input more words here and then start the program again so you will see again it will write the same content inside the file right and then it will count the number of words in the file i hope it will clear you the concept of threading events in python that brings us to the end of the today's video we hope you found it informative and engaging don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on all things tech related thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video